this is Amy with Flower Moxie and Moxie Blooms. I am here to demonstrate this new vessel that we're getting in. I'm excited about it. We have that acrylic floral runner, which is great for rectangular tables. But I had people reaching out to me on Instagram and YouTube saying, hey, like, could you do something for round? So I reached out to our manufacturer and they made this uh, for us and I really like it. What I'm gonna do today is incorporate this acrylic pin frog. So right now we have these on Amazon, thinking about bringing them in and selling them on our Flower Moxie supply site. But right now you can find these in our Amazon store. So it's a plastic pin frog, very inexpensive. It has these little suction cups on the bottom so you don't have to reach for floral clay or tack or anything like that. And it actually works the best when you uh, push it down when there's already water in the vessel. So basically I get it centered, press down, and it creates that vacuum. That's gonna give me a bit more structure because I want to build something with uh, asymmetry, kind of like this one. So we have this table that fits really nicely right down into the top of this acrylic tray. And these are, I, these, this is my sample they sent me. And so it's gonna end up being about 10 to $12 a piece. I would say a glass vessel would be a little bit more expensive, but you do have mechanics to deal with. It's heavier, it can get chipped easier, but you still have to be careful with acrylic because you don't want it to get scratched. So either way, um, I really liked this better than what I thought I would. I was a little on the fence, but after building it at one time, I liked it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have these sad, sad <laughs> pink expression roses. I've already made like 10 things with the same roses, so they're a little bit on their last leg and that's okay. So I'm gonna give it a cut and drive it into the frog. It's gonna give me a lot of control. That way I can just have some asymmetry. Because the vessel is pretty and because we are allowed to see the mechanics when it's a pin frog, even if it's a metal one, it's kosher to see it for some reason. We don't want to see chicken wire, we don't want to see foam, we don't want to see a taped grid, but the rules are out when it comes to pin frogs. So uh, what's nice is I don't have to completely fill this up. very stable. You can do this really easily with roses, carnations. It doesn't need to be all roses, but that's what we have this week. Why am I cutting things all at the same length? Uh, some days it just happens that way. I'm like, I want to be asymmetrical. And it's like, everything I cut is like six inches. All right. Okay, finally. I think this is interesting. And even if you just have this at home, you don't want this for your wedding, uh, you know, you can easily get these and do the same thing. My gosh. You can do the same thing with grocery store flowers. The wheels are coming off today. You know what? It's better to cut it too long than too short. It's kind of like home bangs. Okay, this one I'm gonna cut long real for sure. <laughs> Got guard petals, really just tired petals. All right, well I hate what I've done here, so <laughs> I'm gonna need to take this one out. You can see that suction works really well. Like I've been pulling heavy rose stems in and out and uh, 
it hasn't dislodged it, which is good. So let's come in with one of these funky anthuriums. This is from House of Stems. Yes, they're spendy, but so worth it. Steal from Peter to pay Paul. I'm done with that centerpiece. Yeah. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven roses. Of course, I can always add more, but. And a few anthurium. These house systems one, they're spendy. So personally, I'm kind of like bouquets only, maybe a few and some special centerpieces, but regular anthurium are much less expensive. They're beautiful and they're my new favorite flower. So, and that's, it's really hard to get me away from ranunculus, but they are my new favorites. So yeah, this isn't for everybody, but this is interesting. And it took pretty minimal product and it's very stable, didn't take hardly any mechanics, just a pin frog, and a lazy Susan. So give this a try with some grocery store flowers or forage, and just change out your, your flowers throughout the seasons. All right, we'll call it good. I'll continue to zhuzh it all day long. Uh, Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Visit us at flowermoxie.com. We have really quick reels on TikTok and Instagram at Flower Moxie or Moxie Blooms. We have two different sites. And let us know if you have any requests. We'll see you next time. Thank you.